Arizona Cannabis and Marijuana License Presently, medical use of cannabis is legal in 36 states of the U.S. In addition, marijuana use for recreational purposes is legal in 19 states. One of these states is Arizona. Legalization of Marijuana in Arizona Now, marijuana is legal for both medical and recreational use in Arizona. However, the legalization process was not that easy. There were rejections as well. For example, Arizona failed to legalize the use of cannabis as a medicine in 2002. In its turn, cannabis for recreational use failed in 2016. Restrictions in Marijuana Medical Use in Arizona There are restrictions on the amount of marijuana medical use. The law doesn't permit to buy more than two and a half ounces of medical cannabis. This is the limit for two weeks. Furthermore, the cannabis concentrate shouldn't exit 12 and a half grams. You can't use cannabis while driving. The use in public is also forbidden. There's no age restriction. But there are different permission cards. They are based on the patient's age. Restriction in recreational marijuana use Unlike the medical use of marijuana, there is an age restriction on the recreational use of marijuana. Only adults 21 years or older can use marijuana for pleasure. What medical conditions are qualified for medical marijuana license? Having, at least, one disease is necessary to get a license card. The disease should be listed by the Arizona Department of Health. The list of medical conditions can include cancer, human immunodeficiency virus, acquired immune deficiency syndrome, hepatitis C. What documents do I need for my medical marijuana license? It is necessary to provide some documents for getting a license card. After, you can be qualified for a medical card. How can I apply for medical marijuana card? For getting the card you can apply directly in the portal. You can follow the individual application and portal guide. It will guide you through the application process. The guide will explain the application process step by step. It will start with the guide to the portal. You will understand how to sign up in the portal. Then, the guide will tell you how to submit the application. Furthermore, there are pictures visualizing the whole process. It will make the process easier. Fee for Medical Marijuana Card The fee for the card is $150. Meanwhile, the fee for food stamps is $75. It is valid for two years. After, you will need to renew your card. The medical marijuana card renewal fee is also $150. Getting Arizona License for Growing and Selling Marijuana Marijuana businesses for producing or selling it should get a license. It is a must in Arizona. In this case, you should again apply to the ADHS. Arizona. But the quantity tends to rise. There is data suggesting the number of dispensaries. Cannabis dispensaries will reach up to 169 in near future. Now, State of Arizona licenses, distributors of cannabis products, growers of marijuana, retail stores of marijuana, product manufacturers of marijuana, extraction services of cannabis products. What do you need to be a licensed cannabis dispensary in Arizona? There are some steps you need to take. These steps are essential. They will help you to become a licensed cannabis dispenser. Let's look through these steps, make your business a legal organization. Set up the company's structure, procedures, and management. Provide a business plan. It should include a job description, revenue predictions, and so on. Decide the exact location for your business. Provide the proper information. It should include information about investors and directors. Prove that you are the owner of the alleged dispensary. Get approval from your local jurisdiction. How much does it cost to operate as a cannabis dispensary in Arizona?
Starting a cannabis dispensary business will not be cheap. Definitely, you will need a lot of money. It is expensive even to get a license to operate. The fee for a marijuana establishment license is $25,000. In addition, you will pay $2,500 for the site to grow marijuana. Moreover, you will need to renew the license every year. The annual renewal fee is $5,000. Marijuana Facility Agent Licenses Do you want to work in marijuana dispensaries? Then, you will need a Marijuana Facility Agent License. The certification started on January 19, 2021. In order to work as a facility agent, you will need, submit a completed application. Provide your fingerprint card. You should have one fingerprint clearance card. It should be the current level. There are different applications forms you need to submit. Attestation of facility agent. Checklist of facility agent. It describes the registration process for new facility agents. Instructions for fingerprinting. Note that it may change from time to time. So, you need to always check ADHS's official website. Verification form for fingerprinting. This form is for fingerprint technicians. He she should complete it. Afterward, you submit it as a part of your documentation. FBI Privacy Act Statement.